Hello, Carl from CWD. Nice to see you. Good start to the week. We've just had a. Um, I've just started doing a video of this pond actually. The uh, one we did the other day with Joanne, um, and someone's ordered a four by three meter by one point one meter deep with a hundred mil in the ground, so it's going to be like four foot deep, four by three meter. Nice size pond. So have a two meter by nine hundred tall piece of glass in it as well. So that's going to look really impressive. Look forward to building that one. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you how this pond is pieced together, where to put the screws, how many to use, um, and how to line it up. Make sure you get the first two rows done right, and then the rest of it's easy. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to turn. I'm going to show you now. So as you can see, they're all numbered. These vertical lines are done with the spirit level. So if you just match those lines, so each one of these is going to be set. So if that was slightly that way, it'd be like there and there, you know, if that makes sense. So all you've got to do is match that line up as it is and match the numbers up. Because with sleepers, there's going to be slight gaps um, and things. We always make the worst bits on the inside because once you've put your underlay and your box liner in, it's going to be fine. Um, if there are any little bits like this, you know, little shards and stuff, then I'm, they're probably not going to damage anything, but just because you're spending a good amount of money on a good quality product, you might as well make sure you take any sharp bits off on the outside if we miss them, or if on delivery a bit of it gets splintered or something, um, just make sure that all these little bits, they just rip off, it's just dead easy, it's not hard. Right then, so, number one is always where your window is going to go if you've got one window um, on two windows there's, there's an individual video that we do for each of the ponds so number one is here and then you go clockwise number two three etc etc until you get up to 17 and then number 18 that's your it's basically your window ledge so it's a nice bit of wood that John picked it out special so it looks nice and um, so you step that forward to the same thickness as your glass now I'll zoom in so you can see there is a black line in that channel there's a black line left and to the right so what you want to do is you want to make sure that this isn't screwed in flush you want this to be stepped forward because that's how we've created the window recess so that's that's your window recess once you got these uprights on that's how that works so then you just carry on going around and then you skip these out so it goes from 23 to 24 28 29 33 and then once you get to 43 oh no actually it's once you get to 47 because 42 skips up to 43 so once you get to 47 you go to 48 and then you go to 49. So it's 49 pieces in total on this one. And then you cope in and the rest of it. So the coping is something that you cut yourself because we could mitre all the corners and everything. And if there's any slight changes, it won't look right. You're best off doing it just before you install it. Um, otherwise it'll just look rubbish. So all these tops are nice and flat. So once you've screwed both of these in, it'll be even flatter because this has got a slight, slight curve that way, as you can see there. But yeah, we've only put one screw in because we don't want to be properly bolting it all down because if you keep screwing and unscrewing and screwing to the same hole, it'll make it weaker. So as far as the amount of screws you're putting in, so from what you can see here at the top, this small piece here, I have four. It's not going between any other bits of wood I'll just zoom out a bit more actually there we go so it's not underneath it's not connecting any pieces of wood so two either side so four in total two there two there this longer piece of wood on the side here this is connecting two different piece of pieces of wood because you can see here and here these two aren't connected so you do two in there so that's one two three four two in the middle five six seven eight so you do eight in the side pieces and then same in this one so you do one two three four that connects them two together five six in the middle seven eight of that side 
again, eight in this one. And then on this side, because that is connecting this piece of that piece, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the next one below is exact replica of that, just flipped over. So you do four in that one, eight in that one, eight in that one, eight in that one, and then you do six in this one here. Because you're screwing down into the next course below and you need to connect all them pieces together. The bottom pieces, the full pieces, they just have eight in every one. So you don't start screwing until you get onto this, this second level here. So when you get to the window bit, we have the extra long screws. You'll have, um, they'll either be gold or green. And what you want to do with those, I'll just take these off to show you here. So I'm not showing you how to screw in the, uh, so this is your window ledge bit here. So just bear in mind, you can see this. And this is going to be what's taking most of the pressure of the water because the lower you are, the deeper you are in the water, the more pressure there's going to be. So you want to make sure this is bolted in right. So we put eight in that, that piece, even though it's about half the length, well it is half, half the width for those at the back. We still put eight in it. So you've put two here, then those two screws are going to be hidden by the time that block goes back on. So you've got two there and they're hidden. Same with that. Two screws in there, right at the end. Put that block back on there and they're hidden. So you've got another four to put in here. So I'd just put them. If you just split this into thirds, it looks best that way. So that two here and about two here. So they're the extra long ones. We use them because 250 mil bolts are gonna be a bit stronger than 150 mil bolts. Um, and then here, what you wanna do, so you've got one, two, three, four, five there. So I'd do six on these. So two at the top, try and make sure you're not screwing into the middle of there. It's not gonna be as strong going in between two bits of wood. It's gonna be stronger going right into the end grain. Uh, some of these, it might not grab completely. It might just spin and it might not countersink. Don't worry if that happens. You, you can't help it. You go into the end grain of the wood, so it's um, it's not gonna, that's why we're using longer screws. The screw's in there, it's all the way as, as, as flush as you can get it. If it starts spinning, don't just keep doing it because you'll just, you'll just weaken it. You can take it out and put it in somewhere else, but you're gonna be left with a hole and you don't want that because it's gonna look ugly. So stick two in and two in the bottom and try and get two in the middle. So you'll be able to do that because there's an odd number of pieces. You can get two in this one, two in this one, two in this one. And same with this one. So two in the bottom, two in the top, two in the middle. Nice and easy. And then you're coping. You can either match it up to the front here with a slight overlap all the way around or even just a slight overlap just at the front. Um, but then you'll have a, like a centimetre or something, a centimetre or two here and where you can see the liner going over. So you can stick your coping on and before you screw it down, you can just decide how you want it to look. Uh, we can do a thicker nine inch coping if you really want to. Uh, that'll cost a bit more, but that is a, a new option. Um, it's not something that's always available, unfortunately. It's not included as, as standard. It's a bit more expensive, but then you get to have best of both worlds. You can match up to this point here so when your coping's on, it's going all the way across here and it's got a slight overlap there. So it gives it a bit of a 3D effect, just like the window does. Makes it look that little bit more, that little bit nicer, it adds a little bit, bit extra to it. And you can see with that sticking out a bit, it gives it a bit more depth. It doesn't just look like a flat wall with a hole in it. It actually makes the window even more of a feature. So we love doing it this way. So yeah, as far as fitting the window, watch one of our other YouTube videos but the basic explanation, stick your, stick your glass in there. Before you put the glass in, you get some sealant. Stick a few blobs on the outer edge. And on the bottom, like four blobs, four blobs, and like four blobs at the bottom or something like that. That'd be absolutely fine. And then you'll get a little clamp. So you clamp the glass in the top and then you can fit the liner the same day or you can fit the liner another day. Doesn't really matter. Um, you don't have to wait for it to go off it'll be fine. So this is the actual video, video that I'm going to send to the customer. Um, 
And yeah, it's just a bit of an insight into how you will build the sleeper kit pond that you buy from us. So if you've got any questions or anything, let us know. But I've got another another five kits to build now. So we've, we've gone mad busy for, uh, for January. It's a bit of a record month. <laughs> so yeah, any questions, let us know. But for now, I'm going to have to go and stock up on all my timber. Because uh, I've only got two pallets left over there. Well, thank you very much for your support.